Hi, my name is Senga Lindsay. I'm a landscape architect and today we're going to talk about what's eating my garden. The number one most annoying pest and prolific pest in any edible garden is this. It's the aphid. There's green aphids, there's black aphids. They literally suck the life juices out of your edibles and regular plants. So, for example, on our green roof, we have our Brussels sprouts. And here's an example of the little pest. And as you can see, they're quite prolific. They're soft, green-bodied, blood-sucking creatures that can literally decimate a plant. Okay, Brussels sprouts are one of the uh, number one attractants of aphids, as is broccoli. Other common delicacies that the aphids like is this cabbage. And here is an example again of our cabbage being decimated by these pesky little creatures. So as you can see, this cabbage head may or may not form. In any event, it'll probably be deformed because if you look right next to its counterpart here, here's a beautifully forming cabbage head. No pests, no disfigurement. This guy will be okay. Other um, vegetables that aphids like are, of course, the cauliflower. So far, we're lucky. We've got nothing here. So what can you do about aphids in your garden? Well, there's two ways. Number one way, or, or organically, is to do this. And if you just look right down here, what we do on our edible green roof is we plant nasturtiums. And this is what you call companion planting. Nasturtiums, we have them on all the corners of our planter beds, and they help to protect our veggies. So I'll show you an example of what the nasturtium does. Simply put, it acts like a lightning rod or a magnet for aphids. So there you go. Unfortunately, this little plant will be doomed, but in essence, it'll keep the aphids more attracted to this plant than to the surrounding veggies. So that's one way, an organic, biological, natural way, companion planting. The last resort, you may want to consider one of the natural products such as Safer Soap. I am not an advertisement for these guys, but they do provide a series of products. Basically, they're chemicals that are extracted from plants, like uh, chrysanthemums, and those chemicals in turn will kill and or smother things like aphids. So, if you want any more information on what's eating my garden, or how to control aphids, because believe me, if you're like me, you're going to have a lot this year. It's hot, it's sunny now, plants are succulent, the aphids are having a buffet right now. Give me a look up on my website at www.sangadesigns.com. Thanks for listening.